winter is here, it's gonna move a little snow. I've gotta get the loading dock dug out because we're probably gonna be sending pigs out of site two. And I gotta get up to site one and do the same thing there. <laughs> snow every time the wind blows if it doesn't warm up enough that it melts or it gets crusted every time the wind blows it drifts in and semis can usually get in with feed when they're loaded but then when they're unloaded and empty that's when they get stuck and your semis to load hogs they're the other way they come in light they get hung up on about anything then once you get them loaded they can get out but it doesn't really matter you got to get it done so Howdy everybody, I'm up at our site one barn. If you can hear that, it's an empty bin. When the feed lines make that noise, that means no feed's running through them and that bin is empty. Well, when I went to shut the slides on the old bin and open the new ones on the bin that's got feed in it, one of the slides won't open because it's frozen shut. I gotta get a crowbar or I gotta get a blowtorch to get this dang slide open. This is probably the main reason why I dislike winter. Oh. Okay, well, I got one out of the two items that I need. I got a blowtorch, and I couldn't find a crowbar, so I'm gonna have to use this gate rod right here. Hopefully it works. I've got it to work a couple times. Some of these are really, really stubborn. So there's about a 50-50 chance I'm gonna get this slide open. This one is tight. This one's really tight. So we're gonna try, we're gonna try our hardest. Get it going. It's never like two slides you can't get open. Usually just one slide that gives you problems. Oh. Worst part about this job is your knees are on the frozen, snowy ground. After a while, you don't really feel your kneecaps any longer. Slowly. I got it. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Blowtorch is a necessity. If you can get a blowtorch, it makes it a lot easier. I got them all open right here. These are what the slides are. These, they, these little things right here. This one right here was the, was the stubborn son of a gun, but I got him. I got him. So now that all the slides are open, pigs should have feed for all the lines. So I'm gonna turn on the bin vibrator. Let it run on manual for a little bit just to get everything going. Flip it back to auto. So now if it hangs up at all, the vibrators will kick on and get everything flowing again. Bin vibrators are some of the best investments we've made. So now we're gonna go ahead and chore these guys. We'll turn on the feed systems. I had to switch the bins on the other side as well, but none of the slides were clogged up. Glad I didn't have to do it for both bins, just one because it's no fun when you gotta do both. Now I'll turn on these. It'll make that noise for a little bit, but once the feed starts flowing through them, it'll eventually shut up. So Dad and I and my buddy are up at our Site 2 barn. I got the slides unfrozen, got them open, so the pigs got plenty of feed that's running right now, and I'll go back up there and turn it to automatic once I'm done here. We're gonna go ahead and sort three loads of pigs here. We're down to the last kind of couple loads. We got three more loads of good hogs, and then I think we'll probably go ahead and dump it. Let's get into it.
<laughs> Alrighty, so we just finished up. We're gonna be loading out at nine o'clock tonight. Hopefully they load pretty good. This group so far has been honestly great to load. They, they're calm, they move really good. That's the way you want them. You know, usually some groups are a lot harder than others, but so far this group's done a great job. They make it easy for us. All the marked pigs we took out were the small pigs and the ones we left in the pens were the pigs we're gonna take out tonight. I'm thinking probably Tuesday or Wednesday we'll come through here and we'll dump this barn. So we'll take all the pigs that are left out and then we'll have to get this baby ready to go for power washers. All in all, the pigs sorted pretty well. Gotta love the rear swing gates because it allows us to do this. It allows us to sort four hours before we even want to load. Hell, we could have sorted yesterday if we wanted to. We'll see you guys tonight around nine o'clock. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Who's gonna be the lucky one? Okay. Come on. Come on. No. Go out the gate. There you go. slow getting started I had to stretch out I didn't have time to do my yoga before we got going but about the third batch in I felt like I started to get in the groove and the threes just started dropping so strong finish it was a strong finish alrighty so we just finished up loading and it was I think it was 162 pigs a truck we got some pigs left in both rooms not very many I'm thinking we're gonna dump this building this this upcoming week and we'll get rid of all the pigs in this barn and then we'll get everything ready to wash all in all pretty good timing i think it was about 20 minutes of load which that's how it's kind of been with this group what dad and i are going to do now is we're going to move all the pigs in this north room on the south side over this north side because we got that water line that's broken so there's no water running on this side of things so we got to get them over to this side that way they got water and we'll probably just end up tearing this side down tomorrow that way it's just done and we'll be good Always that one. That pig's like a chihuahua. It thinks that it's like a 300 pound pig trapped in a 100 pound pig body. Come on. Now, we'll get you. I don't think this guy will really so, listen. You won't give him any choice. I love it when they stare right out the gate and they never just go. See, look at him. He just won't think it's a good idea. All right, there we go. Come on, buddy, go. So tomorrow we'll fix that water line on this side. Flip all these feeders. We can bring the red snap-in feeders down so we can get them. Power washer's gonna be here next Monday.